hey guys welcome back today we're gonna cook some food some yummy food I got this recipe from Sam the cooking guy you guys go check him out I've, I've done a couple of his recipes and they're pretty good but tonight I'm cooking garlic butter steak bites and I'm gonna pair these with homemade mashed potatoes so you want to first get your potatoes peeled if you like the skins on the potatoes for your mashed potatoes leave them on do whatever you want with your mashed potatoes it doesn't matter I'm trying to get my four-year-old to eat these so I'm just gonna go ahead and skin all of my potatoes I've got about five or six golden Yukon potatoes and I just use these because that's what I had on hand okay now that you have all of your potatoes peeled go ahead and dice them up into little one inch squares this just makes it easier for them to cook all at the same time Alright, throw all your little pieces into your instant pot. Now you're going to pour your water in. I only use a fourth of a cup of water. And you're going to season your potatoes while they're cooking. So I'm putting in some salt. All the measurements are going to be in the description box along with all of the ingredients. Stick your lid on, make sure it's sealing, not venting and let those cook for 10 minutes. While those are cooking, you're gonna get your steak prepared. I just got filet, you can use whatever you have on hand. You're just gonna cut these up into bite-sized pieces. You just want them all pretty much around the same size. Get those all in a bowl, and we're going to season these with some avocado oil and a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, now we are gonna get the butter prepared that we're gonna cook the steak in. So you're gonna get half a stick of butter and we're gonna get some garlic. I wanted to use fresh garlic, but I didn't have any on hand. So I'm just using the jarred minced garlic, that's fine. Next, you're gonna get your thyme and your rosemary all off the stems. And I like to chop these up as fine as I can get them. Some people leave them and just kind of chop them really quick, but I want to have them in little bitty pieces. I don't wanna take a bite of a big piece of thyme or rosemary and chew that up. So I like to chop them up very finely. Once you get those all chopped up, add them to your butter and your garlic mixture. And mix, mix, mix. It would have been easier if I had let the butter sit out a little bit longer on the counter to get to room temp, 
So if you have time, make sure you get your butter really soft before you start mixing this because it took me a minute to get all of this incorporated. Next up, let's get a pot out, put some butter in it, some whipping cream I did not have, so I, I just had half and half on hand. Again, I'm just improvising and use what I have on hand. It worked out just fine, it still tasted great. So I'm gonna pour some of that into my pot with some garlic powder, salt, black pepper, and we are going to stir this up and incorporate it while it gets warm. We're gonna let that simmer on low heat for a little bit. At this point, my potatoes have been done. They've just been sitting in the Instant Pot chilling out while I finished my other stuff. I poke it with a knife just to make sure they are nice and done. And do not do what I just did. Do not pour all of that mixture into your potatoes at one time. I should have poured half of it in, started mashing them up to see how I liked the texture. And of course I put way too much of the liquid in at one time. So they were a little too runny for me, but it still worked out just fine. They were still good, but just don't do what I did. Only use half of that. Once I got the potatoes all mashed up, I just put the top back on the Instant Pot and let them sit to the side. They'll stay nice and warm. What you wanna do is grab your steak that's been marinating in the avocado oil and salt and pepper. I thought I was recording when I put the meat in the pot, but I didn't, so get you a little bit more avocado oil, get it in your pan, get it nice and hot, and then put your steak bites in it. Leave them in there, let them cook, don't flip them over yet, just let them cook for a little bit, and then flip them over and get them all nice and done. And at the very end, you want to throw in that butter garlic mixture that you have. Let that butter melt and it's going to be so good, you guys. Once these are done cooking, take your mashed potatoes and put them in a bowl and just scoop these lovely steak bites up and stick them on top of the mashed potatoes. I promise it is so good, guys. If you guys are new here, I would love it if you subscribed and also smash that like button. Give this a try and leave a comment. Let me know how it turned out for you guys.